so I got bad news, good news, and bad news. As I was walking out, there was about five or six does right beside, behind my stand, and I spooked them up. I didn't, I didn't see them until I got about 50 yards away from my stand, but they ran into the woods. The good news is, is I'm not even settled in my stand yet. There's, I'm not exaggerating, 20 to 30 deer all the way across the on the other side of the pasture right now. So I'm gonna get this saddle in real quick. Oh, and then the bad news is, is the wind is blowing right at them, so they'll be gone pretty soon. So as you just saw in the pasture there, there's a couple of smaller bucks. And I don't know if I've seen those this year. I'd have to really look at my footage. I'm pretty sure I have. But they're still so far away, even in my viewfinder on my camera, it's really hard to tell what bucks those are. Hopefully they make it this way. I mean, it's not looking good because the wind is blowing right at me, or at them from here. But I'm hoping that they're far enough away that they'll go out and then come across the fence. But, I mean, it hasn't happened all year, so I don't know what's, I don't know what's going to change now to make it happen. You know, those old bucks, those big bucks aren't out there, but the old bucks, they won't come out to the open until later at night. You know, that's why they made it to the age they are, so, I mean, that field is just loaded with deer right now. It's 37 degrees, 38 degrees, so it's almost 40 degrees, it's warmer. I'm sure the smell of the food is in the air. It does smell really good out here now. It smells wildernessy. I'm gonna look over there and see if I see any more bucks. I can't really talk too much because there's a doe that's about 50 yards away. I have a feeling she's gonna get spooked soon because the wind is blowing right at her. It's nice to see that the does are coming back out and they're in big groups like they are now because, you know, when I came back, I only saw four deer, five deer. And then the next time I came out, I only saw probably 10. I'm used to seeing huge groups every night, so it's nice to see that the groups are back out. I'd like to see more bucks, of course. You know, I got two weeks left of bow season. I got two hours left of muzzleloader season. Hopefully I can tag a deer within that time period. It'd be nice to, even if I just saw one of the nice bucks from earlier this year in the field, I'd be happy because then I know that they're gonna go on to next year and be even bigger. I don't think that, you know, the big buck that's out there, I don't think he's really that old. I think he's probably four years old. My brother's deer that he shot November 3rd that deer ended up only being a two and a half year old deer, so that was his second rack. And that was a really nice buck. These bucks get big out here for a reason because they have good genetics. 
people don't hunt next on the property next door and most of the hunters in the surrounding area don't use their bow. The, the deer are able to grow really big. If I just, like I said, if I just see one of those bucks, I'll be happy. And next year, I'm just gonna build a house in a tree and live in it. It's been slow-ish, like the deer out there, but they're just kind of all just sitting in the same spot eating. The one doe actually just laid right down by the tree over there. The big group of does in that buck, there's two bucks in that group, they went north and I haven't seen them since. I haven't heard any gunshots so far tonight. I'm sure I'll hear some later. A little earlier the wind shifted and then it was in my favor, it was coming out of the north. Northwest was blowing right out into this old bean field, and I haven't seen a deer in that field in over a month. Kind of the same direction it was before, but it's going a little bit more northwest. If deer come into this field, and where they come into the field is pretty much going to determine if I get a shot or not. Because if they come in from behind me or beside me, they're going to get spooked. I'm hoping the wind will shift back to the east again. It's actually just picking up out of the southwest, the southeast. So it's not really doing anything in my favor. So all those does came back from the north. And then four more does just came out right here beside me. I've been paying a lot of attention to the pasture. I haven't really been looking over here. I heard, I think I just heard some ice break, but it's hard to tell sometimes, you know, what you hear. It was definitely coming from the direction of the ice. I just don't know if like a deer stepped on it and broke it or if it's just melting and cracking because it's a lot warmer now, but it's it's starting to cool off. It's probably down to 32, 33. 
something like that. I can hear the deer in the woods, even like 80 yards away. Because everything's so crispy. I guess that's a good thing. I gotta get onto the camera because they're coming pretty close. got here there was no wind so I couldn't really tell what direction it was coming from. But if I thought it was smart, I would have looked at my phone. I would have sat in that other stand. They probably would have came across the fence and ate all these old, old soybeans. It's what I expected to happen pretty much happened. The wind blew my scent right to them. They were making their way to come across the fence and eat the old soybeans. They would have crossed my fence row before they crossed my scent. If there are any big bucks left, they could have drawn those big bucks across the fence as well. Poor choice of seating, bad hunting is why I didn't see any shooter bucks tonight.
unless a miracle happens, which I don't think is going to happen. I'm going to close this video right now. Thanks for watching. Comment down below. Let me know if you think those bucks are still alive. Share this with other hunters that might be going through the same thing as I am. Hit a like button if you hope those deer are alive. Once again, thanks for watching.